All right, so this is the second drawing. Um, Got to do one for the wife. So <clears throat> I have the G code spooling off here. And I took the ESTL and did a cat thing. I don't know. It's only my second time doing this second thing printing. So I decided to take a cat thing and uh, see what happens. I don't know, just for fun. It may or may not work, so, but at least it'll be fun. This, however, um, that guy right there has been gone over four times now, so I think the results are pretty dead accurate. Anyways, um, so far so good. The steppers are pretty dead silent. Everything's working great. Um, I have no issues. Got everything tied down nice and tidy. I gotta work on this part a little bit right here. Figure out what I'm gonna do. But, um, <clears throat> so, get that off of there. So damn filthy. Um, so, I made a nice wooden box out of, um, what is this, birch? That's uh, what our uh, aircraft were made out of back in the 70s. I got it from my grandfather's aircraft manufacturing business. Anyways, lacquered it up. Got a nice heavy-duty 12-volt power supply in there. Um, got a shunt. Got the controller board. Got everything kind of nicely done. I'd like to see the voltage and the amperage I'm reading. I did calibrate this and um, <clears throat> did it against my various eye chargers and other um, power supplies I have, and I did calibrate it. So... Uh, Ryan is right, and um, I did uh, actually run it against my um, calibrated and certified fluke that I have, and uh, the amperage was dead on. And Ryan was right. Now I have not put a I have not put my um, my router on there yet, but um, as far as the steppers pulling any amperage, the most I've gotten in the pull is 1.2 amps when I'm trying to hold it. So real quick rundown on my build um, so far so good what I have done I went down to, I live in the Burbank area so I went down to industrial metal and I got polished stainless steel 065 wall pretty thick and there is no flex in this thing also um, my prints some will probably comment on the quality of my prints I know some of my friends in the community did already um, in my EV club and everything. Um, I am running a Mark Forge 3D printer, a uh, carbon graphite printer. And um, so a lot of my stuff is done with polycarbonate and other materials. So anyways, all my prints came out very nice and I printed with a lot of fill. And um, so all my stuff is extremely strong pretty heavy duty. I got no play in this system. This unit is rigid as hell. And, um, so I can't wait to start milling with it. Thank you to Ryan. And, um, I forgot the other gentleman's name on there who was telling me about the end stops. Now, unfortunately, can't put my sides on my side panel back on, which is magnetically held in place. Um, because of my end stop switches I have hanging out right here, which I'll get back in place soon. And um, right now they're just kind of hanging out because I couldn't get the thing really to work without the end stops plugged in. I think I'm just going to put some jumpers in right now. And that's about it. Looks like it's drawing the eyes of the cat. This will be pretty cool. So anyways, uh, that's it. I'm going to post this pretty soon, get this uploaded, and uh, go from there. But um, successful first couple of prints. And... Um, that's about it so far. So I got the um, DeWalt ready to put on. Oh, and also I'm going to do lasering too. So I want to get a nice powerful laser. So that's about it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for everyone's help too. Thanks.